Hey everyone, and welcome to Academy of Mind. Today, we're gonna to learn how to use PowerPoints in your LMS. Using PowerPoints in self-paced courses and during live webinars is a great strategy for making your training programs more interactive and structured. And aside from increasing student engagement and building structure in your e-learning programs, PowerPoints can also help students stay focused and comfortable while learning online, since traditional in-person classes use a lot of PowerPoints. When you use PowerPoints in between different learning materials like videos, PDFs, and interactive modules, they can be very, very helpful for helping students understand information, especially larger chunks broken down, and you can educate your learners in a very straightforward way. All right, so let's get started with uploading and using PowerPoints in your LMS. Okay, so inside of the Academy of Mind dashboard, uh, admin dashboard, the first step to creating a PowerPoint is going to courses, clicking on PowerPoints. And here, this vertical list is all the PowerPoint modules that already exist inside of our LMS. Um, but let's create a new PowerPoint module by clicking create PowerPoint module. So let's name this module, name this whatever makes the most sense for you. You can always just, you know, do a, a fake name and just to learn how to do these PowerPoints, come back to create the legitimate PowerPoint later. Now we're going to actually upload the PowerPoint. So for this viewer type, this is going to decide which PowerPoint viewer you are using inside of the course. So to avoid weird formatting, if you created the PowerPoint using Microsoft PowerPoint, then use the Microsoft viewer. And if you created the PowerPoint using Google Slides, use the Google viewer. We have a Microsoft PowerPoint, so we're gonna click Microsoft, click Upload, locate your PowerPoint. Once it's uploaded, choose that, and boom, you're ready to go, we can move forward. And if you're working with a lot of PowerPoints, sometimes you could be uploading the wrong one. So if you click Preview here, you can very easily double check if the PowerPoint you just uploaded is the correct one, just to double check. All right, so back to the PowerPoint module. Let's enter a description here. You can enter anything you want, even a couple words, just to test how the description feature works. You are not required to fill this out, but if there is a description, then students will be able to read this while viewing the PowerPoint in a course. Next, let's save this module. And if you come back to the list of different PowerPoints available in the LMS, you can see that the one we just created is now here. Of course, you can edit it at any time under Actions. To attach this PowerPoint into a course, let's go to Courses, All Courses, click Edit under whichever course we want to attach this PowerPoint, and then click Curriculum, scroll all the way to the bottom, and click Add Module. Now just type in the title of the PowerPoint under this search for an existing module since we already created it and click the correct PowerPoint. If you wanted to move where the PowerPoint comes up inside of a course for students, you can move the module up and down just by clicking and dragging it. Let's bring this PowerPoint up to the top of the course so it's the first module that students see and interact with. Now if I come into the LMS as a student taking this professional development course, you can see the PowerPoint is here. Learners can download the PowerPoint or print it as a PDF here. Learners can also view the PowerPoint in full screen seamlessly with this feature here. Coming back to the admin view, if you wanted to lock this module so that students have to go through the whole PowerPoint before moving forward in the course, you can do that by toggling this locked button here. And if you wanted to require students to spend a minimum amount of time inside of this PowerPoint before moving forward in the course, you could enter those parameters in here. Lastly, if you are using Google Slides and that's how your PowerPoint was created, inside of the PowerPoint module, when creating one or editing this one we just created, all you have to do is change the viewer type and then upload the Google PowerPoint. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I hope this helps you create better training and e-learning programs, and I'll see you next week.